This production desk is designed to keep you solidly in the sweet spot from the use of a synth as a workstation, a synth as a MIDI controller, and then all post-production work in the box. The synth keyboard height is equivalent to an acoustic piano, and there's a QWERTY table that can then slide out and lock, giving you a solid surface for all post-production. There are seven rack spaces in the upper desk with 10 more possible in the base cabinets. In the back of the interior of the desk is a wiring channel giving you a clean and accessible means to connect any components to any other in your rig. Excess cables can then be stored in the hollow leg of the base cabinets. Let's take a look at a prototype. You see the base cabinets, and then when you add the desk to the top of this unit, you now see the QWERTY table that slides out to any distance. But when it's fully extended, it locks in place with a support, giving you something to push yourself up from when you're working at the desk. For example, if you have a synth, it's tucked in the back, and then when you need the synth, you pull it forward. If you need it only as a MIDI controller, then you pull the QWERTY table out, then you have yourself a full complement of access to a musical keyboard the QWERTY and all your components. Here's a typical setup that I use with the workstation for post-production. Here's an example of a 3D version of this desk using an 88 key keyboard in stage one, then stage two, and then stage three. Let's move on to the base cabinets to show a couple features of those. You have yourself a five rack unit space that can easily store a tower such as a Mac Pro. And the rack units are pitched at an angle so you have easy access. The exterior covers up all of the components very completely. And then on the interior, you have full access to change any kind of wiring configuration. The desk itself has three ports which allow any wiring from your monitors to go through those ports and be stored in the rear channel. And there is a hole in the top of the base cabinet which allows excess wiring to be then stored in the hollow leg in the back of the base cabinets. The speaker risers right now are two units high. However, they could be three or four depending on your needs as far as audio equipment. And the point I want to show you right now are the way that the rack units in the desk are held. There's a couple bars that keep them from sliding back when you push on them. But the plus about this is you have access to plugging from the front of these units and have the wiring go to the rear channel. For example, on the XR, you have a phones jack. That wire can then run through this channel and be accessed to any other piece of equipment in your system. And here's a picture of the rear channel and all the ports that we showed you from the back of the desk desk and that's the main features of this production desk. Thanks for taking time to check out this video. This is Norm Pexington and I'd be happy to hear from you in regards to price and design options. Send your emails to normsculture at gmail.com. Design options, what does that mean? For example, your synthesizer might require a higher QWERTY table so that it fits underneath the desk. And those kinds of specifications can be met in the building of this product. Also, if you want to build your own, there are blueprints and a cutting schedule that will help you make sure you get the maximum use out of the materials that you purchase for this. Again, send your emails to normsculture at gmail.com. Happy productions.